This wind tunnel sequence shows the top view of the OH-58 main rotor disc vortex. The smoke is placed on the edge of the main rotor disc. Notice again that the edge of the vortex is well defined. The model is now positioned with a relative wind azimuth of 330 degrees. An actual aircraft at this point would have a tendency to yaw left into the relative wind. To maintain a constant heading in this position, a pilot would be applying a slight amount of right pedal pressure. The model is now positioned with a relative wind azimuth of 320 degrees, just 10 degrees difference from the previous position. The diffusion of smoke indicates the tail rotor is now operating within the influence of the main rotor disc vortex. It is at this point that a sudden tail rotor thrust reduction will occur. The thrust reduction occurs because of the airflow changes experienced at the tail rotor as the main rotor vortex moves across the tail rotor disc. The pilot must be prepared to apply additional left pedal to prevent the aircraft from yawing right. This sequence shows a side view of the main rotor disc vortex when viewed from the left. It clearly shows the main rotor vortex as it is blown rearward by the wind. As the model is yawed to the right, Notice how the main rotor vortex intersects the tail rotor disc. Again, it is this vortex and its turbulence which causes the sudden decrease in tail rotor thrust. 